This sign means A. No left turn. B. Flagger ahead. C. Two way left turn. D. Turn right or go through. A. No left turn. Regulation signs regulate traffic speed and movement, displaying rules which drivers must obey. This regulation sign means that left turns are prohibited. This road sign means A. Do not pass. B. Do not enter. C. No turn on red. D. Keep right. D. Keep right. This sign indicates that a divided highway begins ahead. The road will split into two one-way roadways separated by a median or divider. You must keep to the right. If you see this sign above your lane, you A. May not exit the freeway. B. May either continue through the interchange or exit the freeway from your current lane. C. May stay in your lane and continue through the interchange. D. Must exit the freeway, if you stay in your current lane. D. Must exit the freeway, if you stay in your current lane. If a yellow panel with the message, exit only, is on a highway sign, the lane below the sign will not continue through the interchange. Instead, the lane will go off of the roadway to form a ramp. If you are in a lane directly under an, exit only, sign, you may change lanes to move through the interchange or you must exit the highway. This road sign means a. You are about to enter a one-way street the wrong way. B. School crossing ahead. C. Do not drive in this lane. D. Traffic turning left on the green light must yield to oncoming traffic. D. Traffic turning left on the green light must yield to oncoming traffic. This sign is used with a traffic signal to tell drivers that left turning traffic does not have the right of way and must instead wait for oncoming traffic to clear. Want to ace your DMV test? Click on the link below and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. This road sign means a. When pavement is wet, reduce your speed. B. The road ahead winds a series of turns or curves. C. Traffic increases ahead. D. Steep grade ahead. A. When pavement is wet, reduce your speed. This sign warns that pavement is slippery when wet. In wet conditions, you should reduce your speed, avoid braking or changing direction suddenly and increase the distance between your vehicle and the one ahead. This road sign means A. Bicycle crossing B. Stop only if other cars are approaching C. Bicycle store D. Soft shoulders A. Bicycle crossing this sign, with the arrow below, indicates the location of a bicycle crossing path. Drive with caution around this sign because bicycles likely regularly cross or ride beside traffic in the area. This road sign means A. Parking spaces are reserved for people with disabled parking permits. B. A circular intersection is ahead. C. Traffic in the lane must turn in the direction of the arrow. D. Lanes are reserved for buses and vehicles with a driver and one or more passengers. A. Parking spaces are reserved for people with disabled parking permits. This sign marks parking spaces that are reserved for people with disabled parking permits.
This sign means A. Pedestrians ahead. B. End of construction zone. C. School crossing ahead. D. Flagger ahead. D. Flagger ahead. This sign indicates that there is a flagger ahead controlling traffic in a construction area. This road sign means A. Your current roadway ends ahead. B. You must bear either right or left. C. A four way intersection is ahead. D. A road joins from the right. B. You must bear either right or left. This sign indicates that there is a Y intersection ahead. You must bear either to the right or to the left. This road sign means A. School crossing. B. Pedestrian crossing. C. Jogging trail. D. Busy sidewalk. B. Pedestrian crossing. This sign indicates the presence of a pedestrian crossing. You should watch for people entering a crosswalk or crossing your path. Slow down and be prepared to stop. Which of the following lights indicates that you should slow down and proceed with caution at an intersection? A. A flashing yellow light. B. A flashing red light. C. A solid yellow light. D. A solid red light. A. A flashing yellow light. A flashing yellow traffic light at an intersection indicates that drivers must slow down, proceed with caution, and be prepared to stop. When driving at a speed slower than 35 miles per hour, a driver should maintain a following distance of at least a. 2 seconds b. 200 feet c. 1 car length d. 1 minute a. 2 seconds It is important for a driver to maintain a space cushion around their vehicle at all times. When traveling under ideal driving conditions at a speed that is slower than 35 miles per hour, a driver should maintain a minimum following distance of 2 seconds. Zero tolerance is A. A smart teenager. B. A law that makes it illegal for youth under 21 to drive with a blood alcohol content of 0.02% or higher. C. Getting good grades. D. None of the above. B. A law that makes it illegal for youth under 21 to drive with a blood alcohol content of 0.02% or higher. For drivers over age 21, the legal blood alcohol content limit, BAC, is 0.08%. However, if you are under age 21, you can be convicted of illegal consumption of alcohol if your BAC is at least 0.02%. You are turning onto a two-lane road divided by a broken yellow line. You know immediately that A. You are on a two-way road. B. You are on a one-way road. C. The road is under repair. D. You must stay to the left of the broken yellow lines. A. You are on a two-way road. Yellow center lines are used to separate traffic moving in opposite directions. Broken lines may be crossed to pass slower moving traffic when it is safe to do so. You notice a vehicle defect which may affect the safe operation of your vehicle. You should A. Correct the defect as soon as possible. B. Correct the defect when you can afford it. C. Drive the vehicle at slower speeds. D. Drive normally. A. Correct the defect as soon as possible. 
Any defect that may affect the safe operation of a vehicle should be corrected as soon as possible. Defects should be corrected before the vehicle is driven. Drowsy drivers A. Should drink strong black coffee to stay awake. B. Can drive so poorly that they may appear to be drunk. C. Can stay alert by opening a window and turning up the radio. D. Are usually only older drivers. B. Can drive so poorly that they may appear to be drunk. Drowsiness can make people drive so poorly that they appear to be drunk. Opening a window, turning on the radio, or drinking coffee is not enough to make a drowsy driver alert to roadway hazards. Guide signs are Fill in the blank Signs that provide directional and mileage information to drivers. A. Yellow. B. Red. C. Green. D. White. C. Green. Guide signs, sometimes known as destination signs, have a green background and provide directional and mileage information to specific destinations. They can be a helpful resource when driving in unfamiliar locations. An arrow painted on the pavement means A. Drivers in the proper lane may make the movement indicated by the arrow, if they choose to do so. B. Drivers in the proper lane must make the movement indicated by the arrow, but only if traffic lights are not working. C. Drivers in the proper lane must always come to a complete stop before making the movement indicated by the arrow. D. Drivers in the proper lane must make the movement indicated by the arrow while following directions indicated by traffic signals. D. Drivers in the proper lane must make the movement indicated by the arrow while following directions indicated by traffic signals. An arrow painted on the pavement within a traffic lane indicates that drivers in the lane must make the movement indicated by the arrow. Drivers should follow directions given by any traffic signs or signals before proceeding in the direction indicated by the arrow. If someone has consumed alcoholic drinks, what will help the person overcome the influence of those drinks? A. Tomato juice and lime. B. Hot coffee. C. Fresh air. D. Only time. D. Only time. Only the passage of time will allow a person to overcome the influence of alcohol. The most effective safety restraints in a traffic crash are A. Only a lap and shoulder belt. B. Only an airbag. C. Both a lap, shoulder belt and an airbag. D. No safety restraints. C. Both a lap, shoulder belt and an airbag. Safety belts can double your chance of surviving a crash and more than double your chance of avoiding serious injury. Airbags, when used properly with safety belts, provide additional protection in a front-end crash. You should wear both shoulder and lap belts. You are required to signal every time you pull away from a curb. A. True. B. False. A. True. You must use the proper turn signal any time you pull away from a curb. Your brake lights tell other drivers that you A. Are making a turn. B. Have your emergency brake on. C. Are changing lanes. D. Are slowing down or stopping. D. Are slowing down or stopping. Your vehicle's brake lights indicate to other drivers that you are slowing down or stopping. Your brake lights should always be in working order when you are driving on any roadway.
If a driver sees an animal on the roadway. A. No special action is required. B. The driver should honk their horn. C. The driver should pass the animal as closely as possible. D. The driver should be very cautious. D. The driver should be very cautious. Be very cautious any time you encounter an animal on the roadway. Pass the animal slowly to avoid startling or frightening it. Pentagonal signs indicate A. No passing zones. B. School zones. C. Speed limits. D. Railroad crossings. B. School zones. Pentagonal signs indicate that you are in a school zone. Be extra alert to children and pedestrians when driving near a school. If you drink alcohol socially, what helps ensure safe driving? A. Drink coffee before driving. B. Ride home with a friend who has not been drinking. C. Take a cold shower before driving. D. Stop drinking one half hour before driving. B. Ride home with a friend who has not been drinking. One strategy to avoid driving while impaired or intoxicated is to arrange for a ride home with a friend who does not drink. Drinking coffee or taking a cold shower cannot reduce your blood alcohol content or reduce the effects of alcohol. On average, it takes about an hour for the body to eliminate the alcohol from a single drink. To ensure that your physical condition does not cause you to drive in an unsafe manner, you should A. Keep physically fit and have regular physical examinations. B. Know the effect of any medicine on your driving ability. C. Drive within your physical limitations. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Your physical condition has an important bearing on your ability to drive safely. Drivers should be aware of their physical limitations and only drive if it is safe to do so. When driving at a speed slower than 35 miles per hour, a driver should maintain a following distance of at least a. 2 seconds. b. 200 feet. c. 1 car length. D. 1 minute. A. 2 seconds. It is important for a driver to maintain a space cushion around their vehicle at all times. When traveling under ideal driving conditions at a speed that is slower than 35 miles per hour, a driver should maintain a minimum following distance of 2 seconds. You are involved in an accident. You should A. Stop immediately. B. Help the injured. C. Call the police. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. If involved in an accident, you should stop your vehicle immediately. If possible, move the vehicle out of the way of traffic. Call the nearest police agency and ask for an ambulance, if necessary. Do not move the injured unnecessarily, but attempt to stop severe bleeding with direct pressure. Wait for emergency vehicles to arrive. Talking or texting on a cell phone while driving will not significantly increase your chances being involved in a crash. A. True. B. False. B. False. Using a phone while driving is a distraction that increases your risk of being involved in a crash. Drivers who have consumed alcohol before getting behind the wheel. A. Are always aware of the risks they are taking. B. Do not have sufficient control over their bodies and minds or the vehicles being driven. 
C. Are better drivers because they are more careful than sober drivers. D. Have quicker reaction times. B. Do not have sufficient control over their bodies and minds or the vehicles being driven. Alcohol is a depressant that negatively affects judgment, vision, concentration, understanding of reality, and reaction time. It is never safe to consume alcohol in any amount before getting behind the wheel of a car. Which of the following best ensures your safety and the safety of those around you when you are backing your vehicle? A. Honk your horn right before shifting into reverse. B. Check behind the vehicle before you get into the driver's seat. C. Check your rearview mirrors to see what is behind you. D. Turn up the car radio before backing up to get the attention of anyone who may be around you. B. Check behind the vehicle before you get into the driver's seat. Backing requires extra caution because it is difficult for drivers to see behind their vehicles. Before entering a vehicle to back up, walk to the back of the vehicle to check for children and small objects. When driving in fog, you should use your low beam headlights. A. True. B. False. A. True. You should always use your low beam headlights when driving in fog. High beam headlights may cause the light to reflect off of the fog and into your eyes. When approaching a school bus with flashing signals and an extended stop sign, you must stop and remain stopped until A. The bus driver signals you to pass. B. The bus signals stop flashing. C. All children are clear of the roadway and the bus moves again. D. The bus moves again. C. All children are clear of the roadway and the bus moves again. You must stop for stopped school buses with flashing red lights and an extended stop sign when you approach from any direction on a highway, private road, or school driveway. Stop and remain stopped until all persons are clear and the bus moves again. Even if the signals are not on, you must stop any time a school bus is loading or unloading passengers. If a crossing guard is directing traffic in a school zone, you must A. Follow the directions given by the crossing guard. B. Copy what surrounding traffic is doing, despite the crossing guard's instructions. C. Assume the guard is not supposed to be directing traffic. D. Follow rules that would be in place if no children were present. A. Follow the directions given by the crossing guard. B. Prepare to reduce your speed and use caution when directed to do so by a sign, crossing guard, or law enforcement officer. Always drive with extra caution in a school zone. A child under the age of two should be transported in A. A booster seat. B. A rear-facing car seat. C. The front seat of a car. D. A front-facing car seat. B. A rear-facing car seat. Children who are under the age of eight and being transported in a moving vehicle must be properly secured in an approved child safety seat. Children under the age of two should be seated in a rear-facing car seat.